Hello and welcome to Learn Twin Flame Tarot. So yesterday with the sword suit in all of these gorgeous decks, we did a Celtic cross to understand how to put the cards together and how the cards always tell a story. So today I'm going to do a nine card spread. We're going to do three cards for the Divine Feminine, three cards for the Divine Masculine and three cards for the journey. And we're going to see how the cards interlink and are aspected to give the guidance that needs to come through. So thank you, angels. What's the energy, please, for the Divine Feminine? What do we need to know? So remember, this is for training purposes. Let me just pop them back in. They're giving me fear. So release any fear around what the message may be. And I feel there may be some fear around interpreting the cards and always trust your intuition. You know, always allow yourself to feel through your body and your intuition and all of your senses what the message coming through needs to be. So, I mean, this may resonate with what you're currently going through in your life right now. So, but this is ultimately for a training reading. So, like a training purpose. -y. So, thank you, angels. What's the energy around the Divine Feminine? So, I'm shuffling until I'm feeling the cards. And I want three cards for the Divine Feminine. I want one more. There we go. Three cards, please, angels, for the Divine Masculine. Okay, there's one. Okay. What energy is around the Divine Masculine today? And um, what energy is around the Divine Masculine? There we go. And what energy is around the connection? What do we need to know about the connection? Okay, so I'm shuffling them until I feel the card is presenting itself to me. There we go. Okay, but you can shuffle and split the deck and do it however you feel guided. So we've got nine cards. <clears throat> So again, this could be connected with blocks in communication because they're already giving me a block in the throat chakra and some fear. So again, this would resonate with the reading in the Celtic cross spread we did yesterday when we had the Nine of Swords energy and the Divine Feminine wondering when the masculine was going to return and feeling all that stress. And really, it was all about taking back your power. So the energy around the Divine Feminine, we've got resilience. Queen of Swords. So the feminine here is being reminded of her power, that she is resilient and strong, that, you know, she can get through anything that's being thrown her way, that she can get through this. So that's divine feminine strength and power. We've also got, yep, same card, Nine of Swords. So the feminine is worried about this connection. You know, when's he going to message? Is he going to happen? What's going to go on? You know, maybe having sleepless nights, panic, anxiety, stress, fear, worrying about the future, maybe stressing over the past. And the feminine here has been reminded she is resilient, that she can get through this. It's going to be okay. And the divine feminine message is, I am learning that separation is preparation for our union. Very interesting. So same cards that come out yesterday with a new card here. So there may be separation. So if you get these cards coming up, you know that the feminine is struggling a little bit about separation and it's causing anxiety, it's causing fear, it's causing sleepless nights. And the message is divine feminine, remember your power. You are resilient, take back your power and shine your light. So the masculine energy is I am on my way. Again, same card as yesterday. I am coming. When I make a decision, it will happen very quickly. So he's reassuring the feminine here. He is on his way. I've been hurt in the past, but now I am ready to pick myself up and start again. Ten of swords. So the masculine is showing the feminine he's at the end of a tough cycle. There is completing something in his life to be free to be with the divine feminine. And he's saying, I've been hurt in the past, but I'm ready to start again. So he's showing you he's just been healing himself. He's been going through a cleansing, a release to be free enough to be with you. So that silence and that separation, it's worked for the connection, not against the connection. And he knows that he has to make a decision and he's showing you he's focused on that decision. So again, the masculine saying, if I'm indifferent, if I'm being a bit cool or a bit quiet, I don't mean to me. I don't mean to be mean to you. 
or mean to myself because you mirror each other what he does to you he feels himself he's saying i'm just finding all the answers and i'm working it out and when i make that decision i'm moving things ahead so see how the cards are telling the story so the feminine is struggling even though the feminine knows that they are resilient and strong but the masculine is reassuring the feminine there's no need to fear so for the connection we've got the feminine energy which is i'm trying to forgive you so forgiveness heals so feminine when this card comes up in this particular reading this is what the feminine needs to do she needs to forgive the masculine for letting her down ghosting her ignoring her blocking her running away whatever he's done she needs to forgive so forgiveness heals forgiveness for all that crazy behavior because the seven of swords remember is about things not being what they seem so the feminine has to forgive that's the guidance in this reading and we've got clarity and again knight of swords energy so clarity is coming in so the feminine will feel more clear you know clarity will come in the feminine will feel better when she forgives the masculine for what's happened in the past and gets ready for the new and the masculine is saying the weight of my life is on my mind and i'm struggling to sleep i need peace so this also shows that this is a mirrored energy you know that the feminine is struggling to sleep and having these fears because the masculine is also going through these fears so it's not all the feminine's pain she's picking up on what her twin is feeling too so there's that mirrored energy so the masculine is saying the weight of my life is on my mind i need to make a decision i need to work out what to do and i'm struggling to sleep i need peace and they're giving me when i'm channeling this back pain and back pain is connected with finances connected with security and stability and needing to make that desired change so see how again the cards tell a story so there's clarity coming in so all we have to do when we're in this kind of pain energy is see it from a higher point of view the feminine is saying i'm learning so she's saying i'm learning you know i am a student in this school of life and the masculine is my teacher i'm learning that separation is not as bad as it seems it's actually preparation for our union it's where we both gain clarity it's where the masculine realizes he's been hurt before but he can move forward and start again and release that fear and illusion that's holding him back and all the family needs to do to feel more at peace is to forgive to forgive the, the masculine to forgive the self to forgive the situation and that will also move things forward because that will be felt energetically and then the sleepless nights will end because the feminine will take back a power and realize how powerful and resilient she actually is and that the masculine is focused on moving this forward making a decision and making this real so again nothing to fear it's fear created by the mind that edges all the goodness out the fear is illusion it's a false experience appearing real i hope this helps have a great day and i'll see you soon